The year was 1911. William Howard Taft was president, Roland Edmondson reached the South Pole, an aircraft was first used as an offensive weapon. Both the Chinese and Mexicans revolt while at home, the Supreme Court finds Standard Oil and the American Tobacco Company to be in violation of the Sherman Antitrust Act. We saw the first transcontinental air flight from New York to Pasadena. Ronald Reagan, Tennessee Williams, and Vincent Price were born while Joseph Pulitzer died. Movies were called moving pictures. You could buy a lot of things for five or ten cents. A luxury car set you back 75 bucks and rent on a five bedroom house was $15 a month. Oh, and some of the top songs of 1911 were Let Me Call You Sweetheart, Down by the Old Mill Stream, Come Josephine and My Flying Machine, and of course the top tune of 1911, Alexander's Ragtime Band. Here in Winona, Bishop Heffron, who had been appointed just a year before, was challenging and encouraging the Catholic community to build a Catholic high school, a Catholic college, and a new parish at the far western edge of the community. His energy, vision, and perseverance are still appreciated today. The high school faced huge challenges. No building, no faculty, and no money. Bishop began the year by rallying the Catholic community and beginning a search for a qualified faculty. Bishop reached out to the Christian brothers and was immediately turned down. Undaunted, he asked again. Again was turned down. Relentless, upon returning from Rome, he paid a visit to the Christian brothers' superior general and pleaded his case. The superior general was inspired by Bishop Heffron's vision and contacted Brother Emery in St. Louis and told him to do the impossible. Get brothers to Winona by the fall of 1911. Things moved very quickly after that. Property was acquired, bids were received, contracts signed, and in June of 1911, it was announced that the construction contract for Cotter High School was awarded to F.H. Polson for $19,000. $546. Construction was to begin immediately with a completion date of October. Toward the end of August, Cotter's new principal, Brother Arcarian, arrived in town and work was being rushed at the building site. The cornerstone was laid August 13, 1911, and the school was dedicated to Bishop Cotter, Winona's first bishop. Bishop Heffron emphasized that while Catholic education differs from public education, it does not antagonize it. Classes were started in September using St. Thomas School as a temporary facility. 102 students were enro enrolled, 22 freshmen and the others in lower grades. They immediately began a number of activities, including an athletic association and a student newspaper. Weather delayed the completion of the building until late November, and the dedication was held on November 29th, Thanksgiving Day. Bishop Heffron congratulated the community, and the building was open to the public for inspection. Of interest was the dedication of the Paul O'Brien room on the second floor. Mrs. D. F. O'Brien donated all the furnishings of the room in memory of her 15-year-old son, who died the year before of pneumonia. In addition to classroom accomplishments, the Cotter students were engaged in plays, choral performances, and of course sports. The men were referred to as the Cotters, and there were basketball tossers, baseball batteries, and gridiron machines. During the next two years, the curriculum was enhanced, more faculty hired, and with the first annual commencement on June 18, 1913, Cotter was a reality.